right, let's go ahead and get started. Hey, how's it going? It's Huge Richard. Let's uh, we're gonna play a little bit of Puppet Combo tonight. I've done about four or five games in the Puppet Combo series, but this is a new one that just recently came out. Uh, that I've been wanting to play called Murder House. So we're just gonna get right into it. Fuck it. Let me know what you guys think. Some of these games can just be like fucking right in your face, screaming. So I haven't played this yet. I haven't even uh, tried to start this up. They came for the story, and the story went after them. All right, let's go ahead and do this. So let's do the prologue. See what this is all about. Kid, you're next. Do I get to move? All right. Come on, kid, get your ass up there. Smile, kid. Say cheese. Sleep. Oh shit. In third person view? Mom? Is the mall closed? He fell asleep in the fucking phone uh, photo booth? Oh man, it's tank controls. Got some uh, Silent Hill 3 vibes to it. Chain Jewelers, Dollar Quest. <laughs> this is definitely what malls look like uh, back in the 80s and 90s. Definitely going to juvie for sure. All right, can I get the fuck out of here? It's locked. Can't get out this way. I'm out of chains. Here. 
happened so far. Oh, I can crawl up the wall, right? How do I do that? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Just click on it like a door. Guess he went home for the night, huh? Oh, did he? It's getting darker. Oh, okay, I'll take the key. Kids posters. Fuck. April 10th, 1983. Ooh, Andy's been missing a long time. This is since March 1981. Last seen at the mall on Side Gears. kids get missing that many kids like if they had like two kids missing at this mall you're like what the fuck Music still hasn't changed. Let's try the door back of where we originally came from. Public Combo does a really good job about making this fucking like unsettling atmosphere. this year. Okay. I need to find this something to use this on. Alright, what's up? 
can the music just die down a little bit so I'm not like fucking on edge? We're gonna find jeers. Close. Close. Okay. I can actually see in fucking front of me. Right, we're gonna check them out a few places. It's closed. This one's locked. Okay, I got it. Cool. Alright, where the fuck am I at? This is a buddy just fucking kick it in the mall? What is this? Which creepy mannequins? Why are they why aren't they dressed? Yeah. I'd be thinking that too if I was a kid. I'd be like, what the fuck? It's closed. I'm just waiting for something just to fucking come out. Alright, it's getting even darker. There's gotta be a way out. Okay. Okay, there's the exit. There's missing kid fucking photo again. Daniel Gray, eight years old, last seen April 6th. Freaking missing kids fucking posters everywhere and shit. Nothing another missing kids photo. Oh, two of them. Have you seen either of these young girls? Both these girls disappeared on a trip to the Monroe Mall. They've been missing since April 14, 1982. If you have any information, please come track to the Monroe. Monroe. 11 years old when she disappeared. She grabbed his four feet. Wow. You got both of them? Damn, man. So there's been like fucking six mur kid murders in three years? You gotta be kidding me, man. There ain't no way they'd be keeping this fucking mall open and fucking fire. Yeah, a lot of kids went missing here. Holy shit. Kid's pretty freaking self-aware. We'll give him that, even though he's got a fucking mullet. That was pretty that was pretty standard for the time. Oh, I don't like where this is going for this kid. A little res Resident Evil door. Oh shit. It's really building this up, isn't it? Okay, Daniel Gray. So are they Repeating photos here. Randy Martinez, yeah, I already seen that kid. Locked. Excuse me, it's locked. Yeah, 
bathroom. Horrible. Oh, dude. Bathrooms. Stall. Should I hide? No. Oh, man. Which means that I probably... this man okay action okay so I can I can pee got it all right so how do I just get the fuck out of here I can peek under the toilets. Okay. All right, I can just escape. Okay, escape. Got it. Whew. Dude, this shit's fucking creepy, man. <clears throat> I do not like where this shit's going. He's coming to get me. Yes. There's no escape. There's no escape, right? Lock the fucking door. <laughs> Hiding the ones that he already sh he checks, right? He already checked this one, so he's not going to come in here. I'm assuming, right? It's not like I'm going to go follow the motherfucker. What do you guys think I should do? So he checked these stalls. Boom, boom. And then he fucking skipped this one and checked over here and then went in. I mean, 
he locked the fucking door so I can't get out. I'm just assuming he's gonna come back in, uh, come back in, right? Fuck it. Locked. How is this the answer? Follow the fucking bunny man? Are you kidding me? Keypad, no. I'm sorry about that. I'm on the white so loud. Turn that down a little bit. When you take the screwdriver. Yes. Shit. I was like making my brain bleed. Locked. All right, so I got a screwdriver and a flashlight. Man, I'm just like freaking out that this thing is going to like come, it's going to come while I'm trying to like fuck with this thing. Oh, I can do first person perspective. Yeah, that'll be a no for me. Oh, I can't change it. What? No, please change from this perspective. So let's find out. We got to get the inventory back up. Okay, there's the inventory, right? So I need this, a normal flathead, make them in handy, okay?
flashlight's not working. There it is. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. What the fuck? I like how nonchalant he is about this shit. He's like, there's some lockers. Is there fucking places to fucking hide? I'm just guessing. I can't use this here. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, yeah, there's a... No, there's a... Fuck. There's a keypad. No. Is there another door that I can use this on? Okay, I found a key, which leads in here, well I mean it like unlocked it, fuck dude this is crazy.
says 1024. Okay. How about the one that says ten twenty four? Okay. Five five three four. So it's the employee break room. I have it turned down because of that fucking noise in the other one. I didn't turn it down though, so it just turned down all the stuff that we wanted to hear. Hold on, there's a phone in here. Let me go check it out, and you wait here. I'll take care of him. You'll be safe here. Yeah, right, man. He's like, I'll take care of him. Why is he listening to like 1920s music? He's got the worst taste in music. You should kill him for his music taste. Oh shit. Prologue, man. Damn. Not bad. That was good. That was a good, like, linear deal. Like, made you feel like he was coming to get you. Like, alright, that's good. So, there's still another half of this, which is like the actual real game.
goes to present day. That's awesome. Oh, so here's where the TV crew comes in. Dude, they're in the shittiest TV vehicle ever. They got a freaking... Uh, Looks like we're here. They got a fucking direct... A direct TV dish on their fucking shit. Ew, this place? I can't believe I went from the news desk to this. You're lucky you had this after the incident with the poodle. That could have happened to anyone. All right, let's get started. We don't have all day. Where the hell is the real estate agent? Who? I gave him 50 bucks to let us shoot this story. There's his car. Where the hell is he? Hey, intern. What's your name again? Emma. Yeah, Emma. Make yourself useful and find us a way in. What a dick. This is literally the worst day to start this internship. I pulled a tendon at track practice, and I don't even think I can run for very long. Once my stamina drains, I'll have to take a break and walk it off before I can run again. All right, well, at least they explain why you can't, like, you know, you're young, and you can't run more than, like, 20 steps. All right, so we just got done with the, the prologue, and now we're actually playing the real game. Uh, let's take a quick, I'm going to uh, make another drink, guys. Take a quick uh, five, ten minute break, and then we'll get started here again shortly.
All right, let's go ahead and get this started. I swear to God, like I went out in my uh, in the front room. I thought it was like ten o'clock, and it's six thirty-nine. So this is like the earliest I've fucking done this shit. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on. So we are starting the real story here. Gotcha. So there is a stamina bar. Off Scooby Doo and shit. Talk on the way in. Probably. So this is one where I can actually get killed uh, with a stamina bar and shit. Cause the guy seemed pretty fucking slow. When I was the kid, I ran away from him, and like it took him like forever to even get close to me. dirty can't see inside can I fucking jump inside Should, okay there we go there's a, there's a, an opening right there Want to enter it? No, not really. I do love the Resident Evil 2 type fucking entrances to shit. Can't move a break job. It's creepy in here. Some fucking mattresses of the time. Must be something important inside. Into a. Yeah, something important inside a random. Oh, dude. Come on. Don't make a little look inside. It's a dryer. What the fuck could be in there? Nothing. Empty wardrobe. Make a good hiding spot. Evidently, she doesn't feel like she needs to hide anywhere. Man, shit is. It's too dark to see anything. Oh, fuck. I can't see shit. Missing something. Cabin is locked. Must be something important inside. Alright. Well, do I just fucking leave this? Or what? I don't have time for this right now. Okay. There's 
so far really haven't given me uh, any other much options here. What are we doing? I can't see anything. Literally, you can see nothing. Okay, so this is back where I came from. Mom, she's all right. You're good, right, girl? Okay. We got here. Breaker box. Average fuse box. Fuse is missing. Oh, she can go upstairs. Got it. That's terrible. Unlocked it. I'm outside. All right, found a way in. Let's get these motherfuckers. And if I can progress with the story, I'm not gonna go any farther than fucking looking around and shit. So I talk to these assholes. Don't ask me. I'm just the camera guy. Chop, chop. We don't have all day. Yeah, I found a way in, asshole. Chop, chop. We don't have all day. Oh, I gotta, I gotta let you in through the front. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. Hey, listen. There's a fucking place in the back. I just snuck through a window in this person's house that I have no idea whose it is. Well, fuck you, right? I'm gonna get my stamina up here. Okay, so that goes to the basement. Okay, she's no way she's gonna do that. Make a great hiding spot. So she's hide. She'll hide it in anything, right? I feel like I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of fucking hiding in this game. Can't open it. Doorknob's missing. Awesome. What about this? Old dusty mug. Can I search it? Okay. Well, there's other cabinets here. Okay, wait a minute. Got something here. Someone left a note. Read it? Yes. Oh, straight Resident Evil 2 style. That's awesome. Hey, it's Jerry, the real estate agent. Looks like someone broke the lock of the basement window and got in the house since the last time I was over here. Still the goddamn fuse, so the power's out. Don't worry. I know there's another fuse around here somewhere. Left the front door open just in case I don't hear you guys drive up. Just shout for me when you get inside. Yeah, okay. Let me just shout for you. Holding for it. See something shiny in the bottom, but I can't reach it. This is very, it's almost like uh, Resident Evil and Clock Tower ish. This reminds me a lot of Clock Tower. But it has some Resident Evil elements, like the very first one, where like the, the notes and. Alright, so we're not dicking with any of this shit, right? We're just, it's locked. Locked. Okay, so I can't open the front door. This is where I came from. It's locked.
Hey, Tesmo, what's going on, dude? How you doing? <laughs> you got timed out for a second, brother. <laughs> I had some guys come in here, like, the other night, and it was just spamming the shit out of me, dude. So I, like, I, I set my, like, restrictions up for a little bit. I need to take those off. Yeah. You better let the others know. I'd like to let the others know, too. You've unlocked it. It said it was locked the last time I did it. Good work. You got in. Did you see that goddamn real estate agent? No, you fat fucking bitch. No, the house is empty. Tess, how you doing, man? That bastard. I should have given you the 50 bucks. Yeah, you should have. Ew, it's musty. It's good to hear, dude. Oh, did you? Yeah, man, my week's been pretty fucked, man. I was uh, streaming really heavy last week. About to get blacked. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, like, blackout drunk, or you mean, like, black ops? Because I'm, I'm kind of, like, on, on hinging on both right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely, uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, be fucking blacking out tonight for sure. Uh, I hit goal. My my team hit their sales goal and shit. So, dude, I'm having some fucking drinks, you know, oh, snapping next, cashing checks, that sort of thing, right? Chop, chop. It's time to hustle. Cheers Grab to that. all the equipment in the van and get it in there. We're going to set up. I'm drinking out of a fucking workout shaker bottle. That's how, that's how freaking heavy my drinks are tonight. I'm not even doing the little goblet glass anymore. I'm just double hauling it, you know? If this guy tells me chop chop one more time, I'm gonna be fucking. I'm gonna let this dude get murdered. Alright, so just in case. I, I've been having like viewers come in and out uh, while I'm playing this game. Usually, like, the first game that I start out with early is a horror game, because that's like my jam. So we're playing. Uh, uh, I'll grab one of the fucking cases. Um, since we're playing um, puppet combos game type games, uh, they're a great indie horror uh, developer that I support on Patreon, and I get access to some of their games beforehand. So this is one of the games that I got access to before, uh, you know, most. Hope this hard work pays well. Get the other one. But no, these games are awesome. They're like really like horror slasher thriller, uh, like 80s slasher thriller. So I'll, I'm going to start this off with this, play this game, and then I'm going to jam on some probably some Black Ops or, you know, some of that other shit. Man, this, uh, drinks are going down a little too smooth. Never want to do this again. Me either. So now they're setting this shit up like it's fucking ghost hunters, but there's a real like live serial killer in here. Okay, I'm gonna tell somebody. Wow, this is a cool house. This motherfucker's got an aura of smoke around him. Lights and let's get rolling. The power's out. We'll turn it back on. I don't know how. Figure something out. This motherfucker, dude. What a fucking cocksucker. Typical fucking 80s motherfucker, man. Getting a woman to do your work for you. It's another the fucking beer gut. And a cigar. Okay, so I gotta check all these fucking rooms and just get my fucking, get the shit scared out of me. So, what I'm looking for is make a great hiding spot, okay? It's locked. Um, uh, I actually have a couple girls coming over with me and my roommate, so we are going to 
have some fun here at the house. Since everything's locked the fuck down, you can't do anything. But, you know, it'll be fun. Yeah, right? You know? I'll tell you what, man. When you uh, when you get when you lock stuff down like that, uh, it's a lot easier later on in life, where you can make it simple and, you know, everybody know everybody knows what's. Uh... Yeah, dude. Oh man, Tez, it really is the worst time, man. It's the best time if you're my age, dude, because like, you already like you can get stuff done and you can like you already have connections and stuff, so like you can just like preemptively prepare. But dude, when you're 21, yeah, man, I was not in the house at all. But like, I have like the place that I live at is pretty is like pretty nice for San Diego. So we have a lot of house parties here. Um, you know, like, and I say house parties not like freaking like you know you you have your solo cup and you're trying to get through like the crowd. But like, you have like a core group of people like, you know, you and like a couple of your buddies and a couple of girls you came with. It's, it's all controlled environment, you know, and everybody's on the level, if you know what I mean. So you already know what to expect, what you're getting at the end of the night. You know, there's no having to like worry about it. That things get, that gets easier later on. In life, so, and money also helps. <laughs> it helps having money. Take a pencil. Sure. Why the fuck not, right? Alright, so I got a pencil. Um, that's fucking... Whatever. Oh, this is a three-story house? Yuck. What? <laughs> I almost had a stroke reading that. What? Dispo fucking in Mets? It's locked. It's like solid iron. Why can't I open this without a key? What the fuck am I going to do with a pencil? Yeah, well, we have these girls that we know that are good friends with us, that party with us a lot. Oh, from the dispensary? Yeah. Uh, we're more on the upper side, you know? Not on the, de uh, you know, but you can get that too, you know? I ain't gonna, like, I'm not gonna go into descriptions here. I'm not trying to get banned from Twitch, but you know what I'm saying? We're a little bit more, uh, you know, that side of the game. Pencil, I can use this to write down my progress. Oh, yes. I would love to do that. I would love. It's a save point thing. Okay, I got it. Which is really cool. I need to find something to use this on. Uh, yes, I did. A lot. Yeah, absolutely. And, it, and for me, it's like a Monday and Tuesday thing. You know, like, uh... You know, like, I still do it. It's just like, you know, Mondays and Tuesdays, I'll do something like that. You know, like, I'm sitting around on the couch, and I'm just, like, watching the game, and I'm just trying to fucking veg out and stuff, that sort of thing. End of the week, though, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more spunk, you know? A little bit more uh, higher and higher volume, you know? So, I've got... A pencil. That's all I found. That's all I fucking found. That's bullshit. Can't open it. Door knob's missing. There's got to be something in these other rooms that I didn't get. So I'm going to do that. And as you get older, Tesmo, you get more tired and more tired. So you need that, that you know, bump, bump, bump it up. Bump, bump it up. But still get down. You know what I mean? I mean, I'll get down a lot more than a lot of people my age. I'll tell you that. I still, I still party and you know, do all nighters and shit. But all right. 
So, yeah, dude, you have to, man. I mean, I got a lot of guys that my age that uh, literally are, like, dealing with, like, kids screaming in their face and shit right now. And I'm just, like, right now, you know, I'm playing video games and, you know, making money. And I'm like, I have, I, don't, I can't relate. So, if anything I could pass down is, like, you know, this, I, this is the life that I like to do. And I'm very happy with the stuff that I've chosen. And I have my freedom to be able to do whatever the fuck I want. So, you know, I've been careful with women, you know, my whole life to make sure that I didn't get caught up. Yeah, dude, that's not, that's not the way, man. If you've seen The Mandalorian, it's not the way, bro. That's just from being stupid. That's just from being dumb. You can prevent that. You know, you can have your cake and eat it too. You just gotta be fucking. You just gotta protect yourself. Can't move it myself. Just a cabinet. Wait, it looks like there's something behind it. Okay. Yeah, dude. He just got played and he made a bad mistake, and that's just the tie that binds, unfortunately. What the fuck? Alright, so the only thing I found up here was that dresser, so I'm gonna have to ask for help downstairs, I guess. I don't know. Look at this fucking bed. This bed looks like it can roll. You didn't realize you had what? Oh, shit. Did you freaking uh, sub sandwich to me? I feel you, man. That's a good use of that sub sandwich, man. I'll tell you what. Appreciate it, my guy. Appreciate it. Hey, Tom. Do you know how to turn the power on? Yeah. Can any of you motherfuckers help me? How about the dude that's smoking 80 cigars in the fucking back? The power? Hmm. I don't know anything about that. Maybe look for a fuse box? Yeah, I know where the fuse box is, you fuckface. Can somebody help me move the drawer, the dresser? I hate every second of this. Get the power on. We don't have all day. What a motherfucker, dude. I wonder why I didn't show up that you freaking, uh, you didn't, that you subbed. You didn't, like, post or anything. It's weird. You didn't give me my, my notification or something. Okay, so, wait, I think a few can count, okay. So the only thing I found is a pencil, and I still haven't found anything to write this on to save my game. Okay, got that. Yeah, I don't like anything that's in here. So on, the only thing I found is a way to be able to save my game. And I can't even write it down on anything. So I haven't even found like a useful... Oh, okay. Yeah, let's read the note. Just shadow me when you get inside. Oh, okay. No. Oh. I appreciate it, Taz, man. Oh, yeah, it shows that you did it. It just didn't fucking pop up, man. Get the power on. We don't have all day. Fuck you, dude. I hate... But I, I saw it. Me and you were talking about it, man. I felt it in my heart, you know? I don't... I didn't... <laughs> I didn't even need uh maybe look for a fuse box? Maybe look for a fuse box? I didn't I didn't even need for it to notify me, man. It, like it notified my soul. Alright. 
Everything's fucking locked. So I know that there's something here. Just a cabinet. Wait, it looks like there's something behind it. I can't move it by myself. Well, that's fucking bullshit. It's TV. There's no power. Okay. And I found the pencil in here. So that's the most productive room that I have. You're moving to a new place? I thought you just moved to a place, dude. Didn't you just move to a new crib? Yeah, dude. Like, I missed your stream. Like, I'm, like, really surprised that I was able to catch you. Oh, parents. I was really surprised that I was able to catch you that one time. Because I'm talking about, like, you haven't streamed in a fucking minute. So, if I wouldn't have caught you that one time and vibed out, I probably would have never talked to you again. It's crazy, right? Yeah, just like, what a fucking, like, off the... Yeah, I know. What an off-the-cuff thing like that. It's like, oh, dude, like, I just caught you, like, at a late-night fucking gambling session, you know, back, like, five months ago when I wasn't even really streaming and shit. And I was just like, okay, you know, I'm going to check this guy out and fucking, I'm drunk. And then, you know, yeah, it is crazy how that happens. Yeah, get back on the grind, man, when you get your place, dude. We're giving out stimulus checks tonight, too, man. You can get stimulized. In case you didn't know that, they're gonna be giving those out like midnight tonight. Uh huh. Yeah, you had a pretty good stream going. It's locked. Everything's fucking locked in this game. Yeah, dude. We were talking about that the other night, man. You could probably show me a fucking thing or two on that. You show me, you can show me some shit on like how to grow socially. I'll show you how to, I'll, I'll give you some tips on investing. That that isn't, of course, like you know, I'm not an investor and I'm not giving you legal advice on how to do it, type shit. And I'm not responsible for any of your losses. Um. Okay, I heard something open. Do I go outside? Maybe I go outside. 2021, baby. 2020 was good for me, man. Fuck. I fucking for my business, man. It was it was a really good earning year. Everything was good. I didn't know I could make this kind of money just staying at home, fucking working. But fuck, here I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, dude, I've been doing it, like, I've had my Twitch and shit up for, like, four years, but I haven't really started doing it until now, like, in the past five months. So, yeah, dude, like, this is the year. It's the year to start getting down. Gate is locked tight. Okay. Yeah, dude, I've been on it. Like, you know, I've been doing a lot of shit on Twitter and stuff and doing follow-up and follow and shit, but... I need to get, like, a good core group of dedicated viewers, you know? I've only got, like, a few handful like seven or ten seven to ten people that really watch me on the regular out of like my three thousand people that i have on there oh my fucking stand was all fucked up and then like i'll have like average viewers of like you know eight to fifteen people that that, sh that uh show up but yeah I'm trying to grow it man fuck where the fuck do i go Um, yeah, dude, I've got, yeah, I've got some, dude, it, like, I'll, I'll send you some shit, I just don't know where, like, I just don't have the time to go through it, I've got some videos and stuff where I've got some funny shit that goes on, man, maybe you could kind of, I'll send you some, some of my clip, my videos, maybe you can kind of skip through it and give me a hand on that or something, I'll fucking Venmo you or something, <laughs> I don't know, dude, I just don't have the time with my job to fucking, like, really sit down and, like, do editing on my shit. 
I definitely got some gems in there when I've just been pissed drunk. All right, so yeah, who knows, man? Yeah, I'll send you, I'll send you just a couple videos. Maybe you can like just rush through some shit and. You find some clips, let me know, and I'll pay you to go through it or something. If you want to like make some scratch on the side to sift through some of that shit, so that I can have some content. I just, I just don't have the time right now to go through it myself. I'm just like posting a bunch of content and then just like leaving it as is. Where the fuck? All right. So I've checked all of these shelves. Everything is locked up. Yeah, sure, dude. That'd be great. I'll, yeah, I'll definitely, I'll pay you for that, man. If you uh, want to do a little work like that on the side, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely throw some uh, Venmo your way. Hey Tom, do you know how to turn the power on? The power? Maybe look for a fuse box. Yeah, the fuse. There's no fucking fuse, motherfucker. All right, so try just go back to the fuse box again and just look at it. I think a fuse is missing. So the fuse is missing. All right, we got that now. We can't see shit downstairs. Doorknob's missing, and I, I can only find, I have a pencil. To be able to save my game with. Get the power on. We don't have all day. Hey, Tom. The, maybe look for a fuse box? Just motherfuckers. Yeah, dude. No, I agree. There's definitely a few fucking games out there with, like, you know, where you can, if you get a good teammate, you know, there's, I mean, of course you can do the Warzone shit or the fucking Black Ops or whatever. We could definitely do that. I just gotta, that's been, I gotta focus on a game and, like, actually fucking start getting good at it instead of just flopping back and forth on shit. Yeah, I know it's super saturated. Every, everyone fucking does that shit. Everyone's on FaZe Clan, you know? Everyone's fucking prodigies. Yeah. Trash cover. Nothing inside. Okay. Yeah, dude. Just fucking... Losing our fucking shit. If we're fucking just like fucking sucking at it. Alright, so there is nothing in here. I've searched fucking high and low in here. There's there is definitely nothing in here. this motherfucker. Yeah, let's search it. What's going on? Nothing. There's a dresser in here that I can move if I had fucking health. So, and there's a lot of hiding spots. It's the cabinet. Wait, it looks like there's something behind it. But I can't move it by myself. Okay. So there's that. Here. 
oh, this is a pencil. Maybe it's making me want to write something down somewhere, but I, but I haven't even found a piece of paper to do that is the problem. So it makes me think that there's something outside that I'm missing here. Maybe in the dude's fucking shitty fucking vehicle? Maybe I just run away? Maybe I just run out of here? No reason to leave. Yeah. I was just gonna run through the woods. So, like, that's still, like, if I was them, I would be like, wait a minute, the dude's fucking car is here. Where the fuck is the guy at? Now I'm like, all right. There's definitely some shit here. Nothing. Can't get in there. tight. Maybe I go to the basement. Maybe, maybe something happens in the dark and it just like fucking scares the piss out of me. I don't know. Let's fucking let's do that. I'm wasting a lot of time. Alright, let's just fucking go through here and just say fuck it. I can't see shit. It's locked. Oh, there's a door there. Interesting. Dark to see anything. Okay. I think it's getting me to save my wants me to save my game. But what am I supposed to fucking write it on? Did give me a pencil, but I haven't found any paper to fucking write anything on. Average fuse box. Yeah, the fuse is missing. Got it. Getting frustrated here, Tez. Press the sink. All right. An old fan. Looks like something broke in here. Oh well. I can't use that here. Okay, so. It won't even let me save my game there. The grossest stove I've ever seen. Empty cabinet. Sink. It's empty. Maybe I look in the suitcases uh, that I brought in. I don't know. Get the power on. We don't have all day. Is that a 
can't reach it, so there's something shiny there. There's just a bunch of fucking no-help motherfuckers. And this guy just telling me to get the fuse. Got it. So it's got to be one of these two rooms up here that I can do something in, right? I don't know, Tez. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, my friend. Oh, dude. I'm such an idiot, man. Oh, my God. I'm so fucking stupid. Yeah, such a sir shit. No, it's not the green. It's locked. Okay. At least we know what's going on now. I'm over here like... I'm fucking pissed. What the fuck was that? See that shit? There was a fucking kid looking at me or something. Uh, dude, I listen to fucking... I have an eclectic taste in music, man. So I listen to all kinds of music. Except for, like, I don't listen to a lot of country. Um, but, I mean, pretty much everything else. I mean, and, and like, hardcore heavy metal. I, I don't listen to that. Like, screamo fucking heavy metal. But everything else I'm, I'm pretty much good into. Fuck, dude. What the fuck was that that was staring at me? Alright. Yes. I want to search it. Okay. Just junk. All right. I anticipate that's all I'm going to find. So turn the fuse on. All right, let's see what's going on here. Hey, the 
powers. Let's get started. Fuck, finally. All right, good. Everything set, Tom? Yep. Lighting's ready. The camera's roll. Hey, Gary. I was thinking we could... I don't pay you to think, Dana. I pay you to read the goddamn script. This dude. I hope I you. hate this job. <laughs> well, pull it together. Ready, everyone? All right. Action. Anthony Smith, more commonly known as the Easter Ripper. The mere mention of his name sends shivers up the spines of parents across the country, his horrible murder spree leaving lives shattered and families ripped apart. Tonight, we'll go inside his vacant home, where 11 innocent children spent their final moments in agonizing pain and terror. Untouched since those horrible crimes eight years ago, some say his spirit still haunts the home till this day. I'm Dana Turner, and this is a News 9 special report. Silenced tears inside the home of serial killer Anthony Smith. Cut. Let's take a break. Gary, I think I want to redo the line where... This isn't 60 Minutes, Dana. <laughs> it's Channel fucking 9. We're not here to win a Pulitzer. Fine. I'm going to find a place in this gross house to fix my makeup. Uh-oh. Shit's about to go down. I like the um, the build up. There's a lot of build up in this. I mean, it is a three story home, so. What the fuck was that? Did you see that? See what? I just had a weird premonition. Gary? Oh. Never mind. I probably sound crazy, don't I? What do you think of this place? It's fine, I guess. It's kind of spooky, though. Yeah, now that you mention it. You better be careful. Let me know if anything suspicious happens. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Dude, that, like, made me stutter step. Like, I guess I'm supposed to, like, keep going, but as soon as I seen the fucking shit, I was like, oh, do I fucking, do I, do I hide or something? I just said, like, uh, you know, I listen to all kinds of music, buddy. This is a great opportunity for you. Put in a little extra effort, and you can really get ahead. If you know what I mean. Okay, I'll keep that. Where the hell is Dana? I don't want to wait around all day. Uh, favorite artist, like, of all time? Dude, that's really hard, man. Oh. I mean, I love a lot of old school, like, 80s hair bands and shit, like Journey and fucking Poison and all that stuff. Um, sometimes I'll wear those shirts, like those concert t-shirts on my fucking streams and shit. But I like, you know, uh, you know, I used to really, what is it? Yeah, Motley Crue? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I love all of that stuff. Um, I like, you know, 90s rap, uh, 90s and 2000s, you know, like 50 Cent, you know, back when... Uh, you know, the, that, in that era, you know, the old school, like, NWA and, um, you know, Chronic 2001 and all that shit. Just banging around in there. Surely she wouldn't be down here fucking doing her makeup, right? Um, 90s grunge. Um, 
you know, I got into like Breaking Benjamin and all them in like the early 2000s and stuff, which is kind of all over the place as far as what I like in music. Maybe she's out in the car. That chick's gonna be the first one dead, for sure. Can you find Dana? We don't have all day. Pink dick face. Find where this chick's at, and then I gotta, I gotta take a quick piss. Holy shit! I'm about to explode, explode, explode! Like old school Metallica and shit. Man, I used to be really heavy into uh, Iron Maiden and Slayer. Like that's not screamo music to me, but uh, you know, old old school Metallica, Iron Maiden type shit. What do you think of this place? Yeah. yeah. That in mind. Alright, so I searched everything here. Locked. So maybe I go downstairs? I mean, I've checked everything up here, right? Man, are you fucking kidding me? But the power's on, right? So may maybe she's just down here powdering her fucking nose. Something's gonna happen. I'm gonna bring this mug down here and all fucking hell's gonna break loose. So before that happens, I'm gonna take a piss. I'll be right back.
Oh, sorry about that, guys. I had to freaking refill my drink and drain the huge Richard. All right, we're back at it. So, I got to give a fucking glass of water to this chick, and I don't think it's going to go well. Yes. Oh, I just remembered. I found this key lying around. See if you can find a real story. And maybe we can get hired on a real... Hey, what are you goofing around for? Set those lights up and let's go... Putting people to sleep here with this boring story. Time to sex this up. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. Put this sheet on. Gary, what the fuck are you doing? No one's gonna want to watch this boring thing. And your dry reporting isn't helping. <laughs> I'm reading the teleprompter. People want to see ghosts. Okay, intern. When Danish says he still haunts the home he grew up in, I want you to run through the background. Got it? All right, let's do this. What? Action! The rampage started in late March 1979, when Smith walked into a local mall and took a seasonal position as an Easter Bunny. A job meant to spread joy and cheer put him in the perfect position to abduct young children until his capture and execution in 1985. Many of the bodies have not been recovered. As told by the sole survivor, Randy Martinez, Smith would release the children in his greenhouse and force them to go on a deadly Easter egg hunt while he stalked and murdered them. Two years later, many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. What was that? Tom, did you get that? I apologize to the viewers at home, <laughs> but I just felt an energy pass by oh behind me. Let's continue deeper into the house and see what secrets we uncover. Cut! This is rating school. Let's take a break and pick up in the bedroom. Great huh. timing. I'm going to go use the rest. Hey you, I'm getting hungry. Take the van and go pick us up some pizzas. Use the station credit card. Yeah. So I get to leave? What about this fucking key? What the fuck is this to? Pick us up some pizzas. Can't use this here. She gets to fucking get out of the house? How awesome is that? So I've got a key. So I should be using it on the doors here, right? Because everything's fucking locked. Okay. It works. I feel safe. Oh, okay. So this is the save room. Got it. So, okay, so I can come in here and... All right, this is cool. This is kind of cool. Should I save the game? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so that's the save room. Wow, that's really cool. I like that. 
So, before I go and get these motherfuckers' pizzas, because I assume when I do that, they're going to be all fucking dead, I want to search the house a little bit. So, let's fucking equip that and do a little bit of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's check this fucking... Now I can actually look around and see what the fuck I'm doing. Do I take the crowbar? Absolutely. What the fuck? Alright, so the kid just ran in there. So yeah, let's get as much done as we can here. I probably shouldn't have saved it until I actually like got through shit, but I didn't want to push my luck. All right, so there's a door in the basement that there was. Oh no. Did you find anything juicy? Not yet, but I think I'm onto. I think there's something hidden here that. Good work. And don't mention this to anybody, especially Gary. He'll steal any story from us. Okay. So, should I leave and get pizzas? Okay, so check out anything that I should be able to see. All right, gotcha. Nice. Okay, so this is the natural order thing. What's taking so long? I can't function on. Sorry, I I'm going soon. Make you know. This is a nice room. Let's film in here next. I can't wait for that dude to get killed. Alright, bro. You take care, dude. If you want to play something later, man, uh, I'm going to be up a little bit late tonight. So if you want to, like, uh, team up on some uh, Call of Duty or something, uh, I'm down to do that. Bye, brother. Take care. Locked. Okay. Okay, so solid iron key. There was something there where, like, the fucking door there was a doorknob, right? I couldn't get into. Okay. <coughs> I can't use that here. Why not? Do 
worn out. Okay. All right, cool. So how do I use it? So she's got a fire poker. Easter egg basket. Creepy. Gross fucking chair. The fireplace is sealed up. Just a piano. sharp all right so i got the fire poker got something to defend myself with at least nowhere to go now looks like we'll be playing a game you'll be hunting eggs i'll be hunting you find them all and you can leave. Don't find them, and you can't. Oh, it's like that, huh? Motherfucker, I was just trying to grab some pizzas. This guy's got going on. Fucking kids running around everywhere and shit. Where are the pizzas? There's something going on here. The van has been wrecked and the gate is locked. Where's Tom? I don't know. I, I can't find him either. Ugh, must be the goddamn real estate agent. I told you you'd get another 50 bucks when we were done. Come out, you chicken shit. Damn it, Gary. It's getting dark, and this place is scary and gross. Can we finish this? Fine. I don't know where the hell Tom is, so you're gonna have to hold the camera. What? It's easy. Just hold it steady. Okay. Action. This is Dana Turner, on location. I've just been informed that we're stuck here. Someone has wrecked our van and we can't get our fucking pizza lunch promised by my producer. Is Anthony Smith executed in the electric chair in 1985 back from the dead? And back for revenge on anyone who enters his house? Find out soon if we don't get the fuck out of here. God damn it, Dana. Cut. I want my lunch. I can't work under these conditions. Fine, we'll take a break. Hey, intern girl, see if you can find where the hell Tom is. <laughs> where the fuck is Tom? I hate this stupid job. Well, you're, you guys are in for...
So I gotta find where, where the fuck Tom is. Ooh, this Easter egg. There's something down there. What is it? It won't let me get it. Okay, there's definitely something there. There's definitely something there too. Tom, I didn't think I would find you. This is getting weird. Do you think the Easter Ripper is back? It looks like we're stuck here. All the doors are locked. Look, I found a key, but I can't figure out what it opens. Let me see. You take it. to save it. I'm definitely going to save it. Oh yeah, it's dark out right now. Dude, that fucking chick just got massacred, man. I'm glad I saved it. Great time to save it. <laughs> I didn't have enough time to fucking move. I was like, what the fuck, dude?
fucking knew. How do I hit the motherfucker? I gotta learn how to fucking use this weapon. What the fuck? Dude, that motherfucker devastated me, man. I'm fucked up. Holy shit. Let's open, open something special. Yeah. 